So let's have a look then. So importance of, real, of relationships in real estate, why relationships matter. Obviously, um, you know, it's that foundation of trust. As we know, strong relationships with clients, tenants and investors build a foundation of trust, which is so important for long term success in real estate. Um, our clients will do the selling for us if we're able to build up strong enough relationships. We're creating champions, individuals that will go out there, will spread the word about us. And that, of course, encourages repeat business referrals and a positive reputation in the marketplace. One of the things we need to remember, of course, uh, as I'm sure many of you are well aware, is that we live in a, an increasingly online environment now where relationships can be built or indeed ruined in a single moment um, in terms of the kind of comments that our clients will leave. Um, we talk now these days a lot about trust indicators. What is a trust indicator? Well, a trust indicator is all of those positive online signals that a client will look at to be able to determine that your company or you as an individual are reputable and that will make them want to work with you. Of course, uh, our clients will look in a number of places for these trust indicators, but Google reviews might, might, might be one example, or it might be what people are saying about us online, that sort of thing. So we need to remember that everything we do to some extent these days, we are leaving an online footprint. And that can mean that's good and it's bad. It's good that if people are having a great service, they will share that. But if for some reason people are not experiencing a good service, they will also share that as well. And that could be detrimental to our success. So we just need to be very careful about the signals online as well as off that we're sending out. And then, of course, we've got long term uh, client retention in a sector where transactions can take time. Obviously, maintaining good relationships ensures that clients will return for future transactions and potentially become brand advocates. I do like that term brand advocates. I, I would say that in the USA, it's interesting, my American clients talk about evangelists, brand evangelists. So these are people that, again, will go out, will trumpet just how good, how reliable you are as an individual, how much of a thought leader you are, how reputable your organization is. And that will, in turn, of course, as we said before, create uh, an online, uh, you know, uh, on and offline uh, team of, of referrals, basically a line of referrals. Um, so we want to be creating as many cheerleaders as we can or brand advocates. Stakeholder collaboration. So relationships uh, with stakeholders, including obviously investors, service providers and contractors, lead to smoother transactions and par partnerships, reducing friction and en ensuring better outcomes. And for me, it's not just about stakeholder collaboration. It is about ensuring wonderful customer experience and customer service. When we talk about customer experience, what do we really mean by that? We mean about the seamless journey, the frictionless journey of our clients from discovering us, whether it's online or at a networking event, how we present ourselves there. Obviously, if it's online, we need to make sure that our website is navigable so that people will find the information that they need quite easily. They'll perhaps see a profile of ourselves and feel that they can trust us. Um, right through to them calling, making sure that someone who is knowledgeable is able to answer their questions and not pass them on to, you know, someone, you know, to another department where they have to wait for ages for their call to be answered and so on and so forth, right on to how we handle the relationship after they've been clients of ours so that they want to return for more or not just not just want to return for more, but are very willing and happy to uh, create referrals for us as well. So it's taking all of the friction out of that. And of course, to do good stakeholder collaboration, it's all about understanding what makes other people tick. Um, and that's another thing that we'll come back to. It's understanding what is what is in it for our investors, for our partners, for our contractors, and how can we forge those all important win-win relationships.